hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here uh, first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method uh, here we just move this 9 from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x plus 3 whole square this is positive 9 when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative and further in the next step here we rewrite this equation as this is x plus 3 whole square minus this is our 9 and we write this 9 as 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step here we need to use this nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and now here we need to substitute both these two values of a and b in this formula so after substituting these values it will be written as first we have a minus b the value of a is x plus 3 minus the value of b is 3 into here we have a plus b the value of a is x plus 3 and the value of b is 3 only and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step here we need more simplification and it will be written as this is negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and here we get this is x times of here we have this is x plus 3 plus 3 becomes here 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 6 equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get our x is equals to minus 6 this is the second root of the given equation so here we get these are the two roots of the given equation uh, which we get here from first method and now here in the next step we need to verify that is uh, both of these two values are solution or both of these two values are extraneous root uh, so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is x plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and in this side we will be uh, substitute or we will be verify x is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to minus 6 so here uh, first we uh, verify x is equals to 0 so for this we put x equals to 0 into the left hand side and it will becomes 0 plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 or not this is the our claim so 0 plus 3 becomes 3 square equals to 9 and you clearly see here 9 is equals to 9 this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of x is equal to 0 is satisfied our given question statement and now here we move towards our second uh, root so here we put this value of x into the left hand side and it will becomes minus 6 plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and uh, here uh, we need to uh, subtract both of these two values and minus 6 plus 3 becomes here minus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and minus 3 square becomes 9 equals to 9 this also shows that both of the sides are equal so it means that the second value of x is also satisfied our given question statement uh, so finally we have the solution set of this question is x is equals to 0 and minus 6 so these are the two solutions of the given equation which we get here from first method and now we move towards our second method and in second method uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is x plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 this is now our given question statement 
and here in the second method we uh, just solve or uh, we find the roots of this equation with the help of the uh, square root okay so here we solve this problem with the help of square root for this we need to take square root on both of the sides so that when we take square root it will be written as in this form so we have this is square root of x plus 3 whole square is equals to square root of 9 and you see here this 2 and this square root are cancelled out by each other and we will get here in the left hand side is x plus 3 and in the right hand side we see that the square root of 9 becomes here 3 so uh, you know about that when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the side so we will get here this is x plus 3 is equals to plus minus 3 and further in the next step we need more simplifications uh, and here we break this value into the two cases the first case is we write x plus 3 is equals to plus 3 the second case is we write x plus 3 is equals to minus 3 and from here we move this plus 3 to the right hand side and we get x is equals to 3 minus 3 and we easily get the value of x is equals to 0 and in this case uh, we again move this plus 3 to the right hand side and we will get here minus 3 and minus 3 and we get the value of x is equals to minus 6 so again in the second method we will get here both of these two roots are 0 and 6 uh, so uh, also in the first method we already verify that both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement so that the solution set of this question is x is equal to 0 and minus 6. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.